Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about my current traveler's notebook setup or current travel journal setup basically. And I haven't taken this out in years and I finally am using it this 2022. So I definitely wanna show you what's inside. And also before we begin, I want to let you know that my book, The Art of the Travel Journal is now available for pre-order wherever books are sold. I'll leave all the links down below in case you wanna check it out. Basically it's a combination of ideas and inspiration for travel journaling, similar to what you see in these videos, but more of like a step-by-step -step approach. So I do hope you keep watching so you can check out a quick journal with me as well as I talk to you about the overall setup of my current travel journal. So I'm finally using the traveler's notebook that I have. I think the last time I used this was like 2019 when I was um, also in Berlin, that was summer. And then towards the end of the year when I went to Japan, yeah, that's probably the last time I took this out because I haven't traveled in quite a while. And so I wanted to show you a brand new sort of setup that I've done. I've also decided to invest in some accessories because I actually don't journal with the cover, but actually now I've been getting used to journaling this whole thing together and I actually have two inserts here. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, I actually cleaned this, but it is back to its normal like scratchy state but i had a leather balsam that i bought in the philippines called ilog maria and then i um, applied it so that it could be a bit smooth before um, i brought it here to germany but anyway i really like the natural state that it is and this is the traveler's notebook regular in camel so it's a nice like tan ish color compared to the brown which was too dark personally for me so this is something that is more right up my alley i mean you can see all the browns i have um it's kind of a preference thing so i have this pen clip i don't really use it as much because i realized that my fountain pens they don't really fit well so it's not ideal although sometimes i will use the Stedler um pigment liner or any fine liner and try to prop it in here because this is also what I use mostly for drawing because the ink is permanent and it's pretty easy to lug around you can draw and write with this one so when you open my um, journal journal setup I recently got this canvas pouch from Baumkuchen it's um, I think it's called moon milk it is a canvas pouch in collaboration with the superior labor and you know me and my yellows and I saw this and it is just really pretty and I really like what it says the journey is the destination and so it has several different pockets as well as a zip pouch here at the end so this is like the first um, storage system I have inside so here I just store photos that I haven't really journaled about yet and these are actually from my Xiaomi Mija printer, which I have yet to do a review on. So that's coming in a future video. So these are card slots. So I tried to fit in calling cards as well, as well as other items that I have not journaled and documented with. So my ticket is here, you know, stuff like that. I just try to add in here. I have extra photos that I end like random knickknacks, basically my ticket. Um, yeah, other things that I haven't really pasted and journaled about and then for my first insert you'll notice that it also says the journey is the destination so actually this journal is also from Baumkuhen you can tell I bought a lot from Baumkuhen during my birthday month and I asked my good friend CH to bring it to me to the Philippines so this one is a collaboration with Traveler's Factory this time and I really love this, the journey is a destination. So I stuck in some stickers and then this one is actually a white dot craft journal. It's kind of interesting because you don't really see the white dots. Let me just show you like there, there. Now you can see it and it's not very obvious. It's kind of subtle. So if you're just not comfortable with like blank or like plain paper then this is a really great option and i just really wanted a change because i usually use the cream paper the md paper and i was like wait i kind of want to get into craft so i bought two of these and now i'm currently using the first one and then you have this one the zip pouch area of the moon milk canvas pouch 
I also have other things here like tags, stickers, receipts that I will probably cut up and journal. Next we have Van Gogh here. So this one is actually a folder that I got. When was that? Like at a museum in Tokyo when there was a Van Gogh exhibit. And I wanted something to bring home that was like kind of practical and this was the one that I thought of. These ones are, they really open like lay flat. So I can put stuff here and I can also put stuff here, which is great. So, so far I've been enjoying it. So it says here Van Gogh in Japan. I'm just gonna take out some of these tags so I can show you. So I've been growing a collection of, are these tea tags? I'd like to call them tea tags. So eventually I'm going to journal all of them together in one page. I just wanna see everything together. I saw this from like someone's Instagram. I was like, I'm gonna steal that idea. I have some coffee stickers here. And then this insert is called the Super Lightweight Paper. It's also by Traveler's Notebook. It's from their limited edition series called B-Sides and Rarities. I had no idea why I bought this. It was like an impulse buy. I was like, I'm kind of curious what lightweight paper means, but they are not kidding. It is legitimately lightweight paper. So I haven't logged it um, the religiously yet. Here, I started doing like a food and coffee log. So that's gonna be what my agenda is. As you can see, it's really lightweight. So I'm planning to just write on the right side and then stick something here or like just leave it as is. So yeah, so that's my little setup. I haven't really taken apart any of them. So hopefully I don't because I don't really want to um, do that. I used to do that a lot before, but so far now I think like with the cushion of this, I don't find it hard to journal. So let's take a look at my current page pages, spreads since I arrived. I don't often update this because my basis is like I update this journal if I go out and I don't really go out as much. I mean, I'm also working on a lot of different things. So sometimes I stay mostly home. So of course, usually when I start my travel journals, I start with like documentation of the trip itself. So there's always a date stamp and then there's always a date. And then of course I arrived on the 7th and then here are some like um, remnants from the travel. I mean, the trip itself was very long. So this one was my, I think my first page. This was the first day I went out. That was like February 9th. And so I wanted to always um, incorporate things like illustration, cards, stickers, tickets, and all in one area. So this is kind of like my way of documenting that in like a report style. I like to keep a lot of the packaging from, um, you know, these are from the pamphlets like at the end of the grocery line and then packaging i also try to keep some of them so these are some of the my favorites are like stuff i've eaten and meals i've tried so here we have the what's this like the sizing and i found that i'm a small this is rare because usually in asia i'm medium so must be like a size difference anyway um after this i haven't really gotten to up update it because i've been preoccupied but that is what we're going to be doing today okay since we're here also i wanted to quickly show you other things that i've brought with me as like kind of my capsule stationery kit i wouldn't say this is my peak capsule i have like crates of stationery that but these are the ones i brought because i needed some of my stash somehow so this one is the traveler's notebook sticker release paper and it's really great because it's nice and small actually i can just prop this inside and like it works you know so anytime i need to journal on the go i can just have this this was given to me by ellen thank you ellen and so inside it's actually sticker paper so you can stick stickers obviously i've already used most of these for obvious reasons and then i sort of segregated the contents of the stickers so you have here like black and white stickers and here like dried flowers so depending on my mood you know i also have like reflection stickers here that i got from everyday explorers co i printed a lot of stickers in advance also at home in manila because my printer you know kind of want to do its job and then i also compiled some that i really wanted to take along with me so they are all here and at the back is the traveler's 
notebook um, stickers limited edition for 2022. You've probably seen this in the past video when I did a washi make samples with me video. So the main reason I did that video is so I can have like a sampler set to take along with me. Not only do I have this journal, I also have my Hobonichi Weeks and also um, my art journal and also my diarist. So I have a lot of different journals here so I need to have like a good stash of washi tapes for that. These are actually the pens that I have with me. These are the main fountain pens I have. So we have the Pilot Custom 823. If you haven't seen my fountain pen videos, I'm gonna link everything down below so that you can sort of like understand like where these are coming from. And then the second one I have is my Kaweko Student in 20s Jazz. It's like a nice brown and white color. And then this one is my Lamy Safari in Savannah Green. So I've inked these with different inks that I use most of the time. So these are the ones I usually use for journaling. However, I did notice like with craft paper, I don't really feel the need to have to use a different color. So I usually just use black for text. So that's like an observation I've been having like since I've been journaling on specifically this journal. Okay, now let's get to a bit of journaling. So as I mentioned earlier, I don't really journal um, every day. Depends if I go out. And this, these pictures are actually from a day that I went out, like out, out. So I'm just going to probably like fill up this page. I kind of like this layout where it's like just um, two photos and then like adding things along as I go. Speaking of, I just remembered that this is actually this bookstore. Do you read me? Um, when I was looking for places to go to Ber in Berlin when I first went here, this was one of the recommended ones. And of course, I kept the packaging, so we're gonna cut this up. I like the contrast of white and craft so that's really one of the reasons why i was like you know i'm gonna try using craft again after so long I like playing around with shapes so then i think this one would work also with like the blues going on here maybe here I use an uh, on-office date stamp. I really like the idea of putting dates in. So that has to be added here. Yeah, it was the 18th. Okay. And then my ink is Shachihata. I'm using Cypress Brown. It's my all-time favorite color. Surprisingly, I like it better than the Decade Leaf. And I don't have black stamp pad ink. So I use this mostly as contrast. So this street, Augustrasse, it has two places I really like. So this is a place called Sishisho Burger. And it was recommended to me by my good friend Emily. So we ate there, I think. I don't remember. Maybe like when I first met her or something. So had lunch at Shisho Burger. I usually just get the cheeseburger and fries and drink. And then um, a few meters away i think like next door is this um indie bookstore called do you read me it's a really nice place to get magazines anything in print also design books they also have a couple of non-fiction books but i didn't really get any anymore i was like wait i think i just need to so i got a frankie magazine and this magazine called courier mag it's really nice but i just really love going inside because it's like a visual feast of books and there are a lot of different magazines and books that you can view for inspiration. What's great about it is it's also all open so you can take a look if you really want to buy it or not. So, kind of want to add something here at the bottom just because I feel like it's kind of empty. Yeah, maybe putting it there would sort of connect this one and the elements on the right. You know, as I keep journaling as I get older, I realized how much I don't really want to put too much information in pages. Like, something as simple as this, this is something I would never do in the past. But now I'm like, no, it actually works. 
So yeah, this is the final page, final spread for um, this little journal with me session. So I do hope this video gave you a little peek into my current travel journal setup. I feel like at this point, I'm kind of set with what I really want out of travel journaling. So this is probably my updated version for the rest of the year. One more thing, I'm very excited to be part of Sketchbook Revival this year. And it's going to be a series of different classes and workshops you can attend online. More information will be down below, but the one I'm going to be hosting is called Collage Travel Journaling, which is pretty much what I do and pretty much what my style is with regards to traveler's notebook setups and my travel journals in general. So I do hope you check it out and I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and check out my other videos on journaling, travel, and let me know which ones you would like to see in future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Always be creating and see you soon. Bye!